So here's a question I want to ask everybody here, and I would love for you to play in the chat here. Um, what do you think is the percentage of business professionals and leaders that are uncomfortable on stage? Somebody throw, put it in the chat. What do you think the percentage is? I'd love to see people like in there um, throwing out some numbers. What do you think it is? I don't see any numbers in there yet. Okay. <laughs> Unless I'm not seeing the chat. Oh, there we go. 80. Love that. 80. 90. Dawn. All right. I'm impressed. Majority. Carmen. Okay. Okay. I have to say, you guys are very, very close. 75, Eileen. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You guys are pretty much right on. 70%. Okay, so here's the thing that's so beautiful about that number. We're not alone. We're not alone. In fact, a lot of times you'll see people up on stage and you think, God, how do they do it? Well, more, majority of the time, a lot of those people are nervous or they have learned to overcome that nervousness, that uncomfortableness because they've actually done the work to do that. And here's the thing, when we are uncomfortable on stage, when we are uncomfortable and we walk in that room and we have to present in front of our team or in front of our boss, what happens? Let me show you what will happen when that, and this will probably you might relate to this, okay? We project uncertainty and diminish our presence when that happens. So think about that. When we come in or we're not fully present, we are projecting uncertainty. And when that happens, our audience starts to feel it and they start to lose us a bit. The next one is we lose the power of our own voice. And I have so many clients who have come to me, Aaron, every time I walk in the room, I feel like I lose a part of my voice. I feel like it freezes up. I feel like I don't know what to say. They lose a part of our voice and that's our power. And then we dilute the impact of our message. When we come in and we're uncomfortable, a lot of times we're spending a lot of time with our brain thinking, oh, I won't be as good as the last person, or I'm not prepared for this, or I'm not as smart as those people. And when we do that, that does impact our message. And that's the subconscious playing a role in it. And then we lose the opportunity to attract our audience. And that's what we want to do. When we come in and we're comfortable and we're, you know, um, comfortable and confident when we walk in. Our audience feels that and we're pulling our audience into us, whether that's your boss, you're the team, or you're on the big stage. And then again, we miss the opportunity to, to nurture them. And nurturing is key because that keeps our audience, you know, um, part of who we are. They want to know us. They want to be a part of what we're doing. 